Welcome to Hot Players One and All. Today on Straight to the Point, we are going to be counting down the top 15 biggest 180 hitters of all time, in my opinion. Kicking off with number one spot, we've got Gary Anderson. I think he's in most people's uh, top 180 hitter category. He up until recently held the record for most 180s in a Premier League match, as well as participated in the two biggest ever 180 scoring world finals. Next up we've got Michael Smith. You can't bet on Michael Smith to do a lot of things, but you can pretty much guarantee he's going to get the most 180s, 9 out of 10 matches. Absolutely phenomenal on the 180 count. Next up, Alan Evans. Alan Evans actually hit 8 180s in an exhibition local to where I live back in the very early 70s. Unfortunately, we never really get to see the best of Alan Evans, as by the time it Dart started to become televised in the early 80s. He seemed to have passed his best. But a phenomenal 180 hitter, especially when you consider the difference in the quality of darts and the board, especially the wires and the board. Next up, we've got Dave Chisnell, 2010 PDO World Finalist. Countless uh, PDC Major winner as well. Absolutely astonishing. The amount of 180s this guy can hit is just unreal. I think it just comes from that repetitive action he aims, throws, pulls back and fires. Very straightforward. Adrian Lewis, massive nine data hitter, hit one in a world final notably as well. And not to mention his notorious blind 180 that we're going to see in a minute. Here we go, absolutely phenomenal 180 hitter. Just pure rhythm, pure class, natural talent. Ted Hankey holds the most 180s. Hit in a BDO World Championship match, hit 22 in a semi final against Chris Mason back in 2000. And again, that's back in 2000. Dart boards were nowhere near as good as they are today. Just absolute quality. That sort of figure in a darts match, 22 180s back then was completely unheard of. And it's still challenging the best we see today. Eric Bristow. This man, I'm surprised he never hit a nine darter on TV. Again, though, when he was back in his best, very, very different times in terms of the quality of the boards. But it's very rare you can watch a dart match back in which his opponent hits more 180s than him. Absolutely phenomenal player. Definitely up there in the top three or four that's ever lived, in my opinion. Next up, we have the Wizard of Oz himself. This footage is taken from the Grand Slammer darts back in 2020 in which he hits the most 180s ever recorded in a match within the Grand Slammer darts. Fantastic achievement and I love the way Simon Whitlock's darts taper in. It just allows him to hit so many more 180s than well, just about anybody else. Next up Mervyn King, a very underrated player for 180s. Back in the early 2000s, other than I'd say Ted Hankey, he was probably the biggest 180 hitter on the BDO circuit and not much has changed today now he's back in form did you see how repetitive that throw is it's just made for 180 hitting similar to Dave Chisnell it's just eye line straightforward as simple as you like this guy Jose de Sousa has come completely out of the woodwork and gets our number 10 spot beating Gary Anderson's most when he's in a Premier League in this particular match we're showing against Nathan Aspinall. This guy can just group his darts like no one else. Considering he doesn't have a taper at the front like Whitlock, I find it phenomenal how tight you can actually group the 180s. If you just look at the last 180 in this clip, it's beyond belief. Look, the whole points are touching and there's just no taper. Bit of uh, an unexpected one for some. Devin Peterson in number 11. I had to put him in there because last year when he started winning, when he won his first major and started to really make a name for himself in the, the summer series, he hit more 180s than any other player I've ever seen. It was absolutely relentless. He didn't actually do a lot in terms of the other aspects of his game. His doubles were okay, uh, not great at times. Consistency was not brilliant either, but the 180s just made up for it. Next up, Leighton Reese. This guy we're going to show here hits the first ever back-to-back -back 1080s. One of the 
the greatest players of all time in my opinion. First ever world champion back in 1978. This is for two on the spin. Flight comes off but there's no distraction. If you look at how much room is left in the treble after he hits a 180, it's, it's unbelievable the size of the barrels and the size of the wires. How he was able to hit so many of them. Ah, it's just unbelievable. Number 13, Steve Beaton. This is around 1993. In 1993, Steve Beaton was probably the best player in the world in my opinion. He ran a, count, a, a number of massive major titles, including the Winmar World Masters. And again, this was before the split in darts as well. I made the semi-final of the World Championship that year as well. If you look at how thick these darts are, you, how did he get that in? I don't know. Michael Van Gerwen, very underestimated in terms of the amount of 180s he hits, but he is our next spot. I think he's underrated for the amount of 180s just because of how strong the rest of his game is, and he's at his best. Now following this with number 15 from the same match, Raymond Van Barnevelt. Absolute class act. As soon as that dart lands towards the bottom of the bed, it just stacks them on top like it's nobody's business. Huge 9 darter hitter as well. First player ever to do it in a World Championship match in the BDC. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching Straight to the Point. Please like and subscribe.